Yeah, just finished talking to my daughter. They're, they're sort of like practicing. They're trying to, there's so many kids and they're trying to, uh, you know, make a, they're trying to make another team. Uh, my grandson, the oldest, Dante, he wants to, he wants to make another team with people because it's so confusing sometimes. It's like, uh, Dante's getting to a point where after this year, he can't play in Cornwall anymore. You know, he'll have to go out, out to, uh, you know, he'll have to go out to either Winchester or Ottawa or Orleans or something like that. And, um, yeah, so they're trying to figure out, they're trying to make, uh, with all the kids they got, they got a lot of kids this year. So right now they're doing like tryout type deal. Tonight was the night they're supposed to, uh, uh, announced teams and stuff, but uh, they're not ready for that yet. So, yeah, so it's kind of cool. Uh, so I just went to check them out, and then one of my grandsons, he's a, you know, I was I was gonna say, and I'll say it on air here. Uh, one, my my grandson uh, Durham, um, he's a little finicky sometimes. Like he's, you know, he's full of anxiety and he gets nervous and he gets snappy and you know, I mean, it's hard to. It's like poking the bear in the morning sometimes. If he wakes up and he's not, you know, I mean, that's fine. I mean, you know, and I just, I, I, I just told him, you know, uh, I said, I'm so proud of him because, um, I'm proud of him because he's going out of his comfort zone. He's always trying things like he ain't, he ain't your typical, he's a kid. He's got a lot, like he, he loves drama. He loves, uh. Uh, not in his life, but he loves drama, like he loves doing drama and stuff. And uh, hey, how are you? Not too bad at all. Good. Yeah, he likes drama and stuff, and uh, and he, he likes plays, and he's got a couple coming up. But uh, you know, the rest of the rest of his brothers all play baseball and sports, so he's trying, like he. Like I said, I'm proud of him. He's out of his comfort zone. Like, I mean, he really is. He pushes himself. He's a little snappy when he does it, but I mean, he still pushes himself. So it doesn't matter. So, you know, might not be happy, but at least I'm doing something I'm not, you know, I'm not normally doing. So, <laughs> like the other day he did long jump. <laughs> he came in fourth, but he said, you know, I, I did it. And I said, yes, you did. And I, and I just... I just mentioned to him, I don't know if he heard me or whatever, you know, uh, but I just mentioned to him, hey man, I'm proud of you. Keep on doing what you're doing. That's good, you know, so I'm not worried about him. I mean, like he, he tries, he, he gets outside the box, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, tomorrow he's playing, a, he's playing with his high school, I guess, and he's playing baseball tomorrow. And um, kind of funny, he tells me to go and I said, okay, but he also tells me, don't cheer me on too much, I guess. <laughs> so I got to say, so you want me to sit there and not say nothing? Just not get excited if you do well or anything like that, right? Is that what you're saying? And he goes, yeah, pretty much. I said, well, I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> That's what I told him. I was proud of him. I said, so, yeah. I'll try to put a, I'll, tr I'll try to put a ixnay on uh, getting all excited. <laughs> Because <laughs> it is high school, you know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> it's all good, though. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm just down here at the, at the ballpark, like I said. I'm, lo I'm moving locations. Yeah, I like my little buddy back there. What? <laughs> I like him. Now, this is the old cotton mill. I mean, you know that from last year. I've taken pictures. I've, I think I drew that picture or I took pictures of it to draw. I don't know. I think sometimes if I try to... I, I believe I'm trying to revisit these places so that um, trying to revisit these places so I can uh, maybe get some inspiration because right now like I said uh, with everything that's going on with the driving thing and all that stuff yeah I'm just I'm not feeling it uh, I'm not really feeling anything really I'm just so like I wake up I hook into a hook I hook into the computer I sort of like answer emails check things out, get on TikTok for hours and hours, just looking at stuff, and uh, yeah, and the day sort of like flies by, and you know, I'm waiting for confirmation, and 
Today I almost blew up when I talked to the, but I didn't because he didn't answer me. And then my daughter, I was impressed with my daughter. I said, you know, um, this was after I talked to Sam, my friend in Hawaii. It's after I talked to her. Uh, she was telling me, you know, Jeff, you gotta keep on, you know, you gotta push him, call him every day, ba 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 ba, and not take it personally and not get. Because I get all, like, I've been up since 6 o'clock, I couldn't sleep because I had this stupid thing in my mind about uh, my driving thing and man, they're, they're like, I remember, I remember John Wayne used to have to say, let's go, we're burning daylight. And that's basically it, I was saying, let's go, we're burning summer, like I want to get out and I want to, you know, I don't think I'm a bad driver, I don't think, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to fail. But I want to get, I want to get in, you know, I want to strike while the striking's hot. <laughs> and, you know, and I, I don't know. I mean, I get my license. I don't have a car right away, but, uh, or a vehicle, but I'm one step closer to getting it. And that's the, that's what I want to do. I mean, I feel like I'm losing my drive and, uh, I don't want that. I mean, I only got a time limit. I mean, there is a shelf life for this guy and, you know, I don't want my eyes to go and, 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 and stuff to fall apart and whatever. I mean, I, I want to get out there and go and get something this summer, even if it's just to the quarry that I went to last year or go to Ottawa or, you know, or just do something different than sitting in Cornwall, you know? And anytime I say that, it's not because I dislike my, I dislike what I'm doing right now, where I'm at, I just, I want to get into life and I don't want to lose that light inside me. And that's what I'm scared of. You know, I'm scared of losing that light. That's why sometimes I don't put up videos. I don't, I, I sort of like, not feel sorry for myself. I don't think that's the thing. I don't think I'm feeling sorry for myself, but I just, I guess, I don't want to swear or nothing, but you know, it's just sometimes it's damn hard keeping moving and keeping a positive attitude. And I fight every day to keep a positive attitude, because that's what I need, a positive attitude. And, uh, you know, and I can't blame people for holding me back, because it's me, it's how I see it. So, but I, I'm trying to keep a positive attitude, I'm trying to move forward, you know? And I like it, like the days like this, where I can get out, you know? I like that, I like it with days like this, where I can get out and, you know, be around people riding by the, by the bike, you know, with their bikes, the, on the bike path and stuff. Yeah, I love it. So, anyways, I don't want to throw like, bah, 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 but you know, that's the way I feel like. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> but life is good, you know. I keep on trying to tell myself, and I, and I believe it. Just sometimes I get a little bit down, I guess. So, anyways, on that note, I love you all. Peace, you know. Aloha, I love you, be kind to yourself, be kind to others and wherever you are, be happy man, enjoy yourself, enjoy the journey. I know once this is all over, I'll take a big breath and say, oh, finally, okay, now on to the next stage of my life, until next time, bye. <laughs>